Today, guys, we are making our very own tide pool aquarium. We are gonna be setting up our very own aquarium right here with this 10 gallon. We're gonna be putting sand, water, fish, crabs, anything we can find in this aquarium. We're making a whole tank at the tide pool spot. Now, of course, at the tide pool spot, we can find amazing things up in these rocks. We came at the perfect time. It is so sunny out today. It was supposed to rain all day. Beautiful freaking day today. We can find things all up in the rocks. We can find things past the rocks with the drone. We can find big fish, sharks. You really never know when you come to the beach what you're gonna catch. So I can't tell you what exactly we're doing today, but the main point is we are making a whole tide pool aquarium from scratch at the beach. Let's do it. Been feeling trapped down on the floor. I don't know what for. Feels like I'm gonna lose. Silence takes a hold. I can't let it go. Chain up, no one knows. But I won't let the stormy seas throw me in open water. Let me have my peace and leave me to tomorrow. Wind into my sea. Now first things first, what do you gotta do? You gotta add water. What's an aquarium without water? So step one, we put water in. Did you just get enough water? Yeah. All right, we're gonna put our aquarium right here. Right there. There's our tide pool aquarium right here. We're gonna find fish for it, crabs, invertebrates, whatever we can find. Maybe a baby eel like last time. That'd be sick to catch today. Should we put shells in here? Yeah. A bunch of shells. That's what we want for our substrate today. Not just straight sand. We're gonna do shells. Substrate in, water in. We got a lot of shells in here. That's the first addition to the Tide Pool Aquarium, but we have much, much more to find. So let's jump into getting the fish and the inverts and anything we can find, let's do it. Do you want to have access to billionaire art investments? Well, I know I do. So let me make it easy for you. Masterworks.io is the only platform taking billionaire art investments head on and lets you access their exclusive investments. You can invest in the same exact artwork that the billionaires do at a fraction of the cost. So Masterworks.io makes it really easy for you guys to buy or invest in a fraction of a contemporary art piece. There is a ton of value when it comes to investing in artwork through Masterworks.io and a huge one being the total wealth held in art is estimated to be $1.7 trillion and projected to grow another $900 billion by 2026. That's a lot of freaking dough. And just to give you guys like a little like mind boggling stat here, contemporary art prices outpace the S&P 500's total return by 174% from 1995 to 2020, according to public data. Masterworks really knows what they're doing. And in fact, they returned 32% to their investors in 2020 by selling a work by Banksy. Getting started is super easy. You visit their website, create an account, browse their artwork, and boom, start diversifying your portfolio with one of the most stable assets around. They even have a secondary market so you don't even have to wait for a buyer. The stock market has just been absolutely crazy lately, so start diversifying your portfolio with Masterworks. So if you guys do want to take advantage of this and get into some artwork, there is a wait list, but you can skip that wait list immediately and start investing right now by clicking my link in the description. So go check it out down below. Now let's get back into the video. Now guys, we came prepared today for the ultimate tide pool freaking aquarium. Look at this miniature net. It's as big as my nose. This is gonna come in handy when we see those little things in the rocks that we can't get the big net in there. Boom, we can scoop them up. So let's start looking already. I think I see a shrimp already, actually. Look at that one right there. Oh, far away. Shit. Cruising in the shallow. Right there, instant. This is good. Look at this little net for him. So these guys are all over these rocks, and there's usually a bunch of these. So the goal is to just catch as many of these little shrimps as we can to first load up our stuff. Oh, he's battling me. Look oh, at he's this. He's smart. He's a smart guy. He's lived around these streets for a while. Huh? Brooke? Here he is. <laughs> I'm gonna get him here. He's got, he's a speed demon. Holy crap. Here comes the T-Rex. Got him. I got him guys. The sad reality is that if we literally did not catch this dude, he was gonna be Perfect. Tyrannosaurus Rexed and Perfect. be killed by the freaking birds. Look at that thing. Mm. So we'll put him on our aquarium, then we'll release, then we'll him, release him into a nice safer spot for him. Amen. Let's put him in the aquarium. You know, I found a couple bigger rocks. We gotta make a structure for our yeah, fish. Yeah, please make it good. I'm gonna make a nice little structure here before we put any fish in there. Nice, nice. Look at that. That looks nice. That is a rock structure. All right, our first member, the first find of the day. A nice looking little shrimp here. Let's add him to the aquarium. That, buddy. He's a floater. He's a uh, Jedi. See you, bud. 
All right, let's keep looking. We gotta keep our eyes completely peeled because you know what? We can find stuff that are literally this big that we might miss, so let's keep looking. All right, when you're looking, you gotta look super close because like, like Chris said, we've caught those little tiny sergeant majors and those little blennies in these tiny little pockets. So we gotta keep a sharp eye out. Maybe we can find that anemone like we did last time. That was a cool find, but let's keep on looking. Oh my God, bro, go over here. Dude, right here, look at this. In a deeper pocket, look at this wrasse right here. Look at this guy. Right here, look at this guy. Look at, this is probably what he's eating too. Look at these. These are all little snails, and I'm pretty sure they love to eat these. Where'd he go? Here he is, he's right by your foot. Come here, buddy. Look at this guy. That is such a freaking pretty wrasse. We've caught these before. Ah! Look at that. This water is actually super cold. He would have lived in here, but I'm gonna take some of these snails too, because every tank needs a damn cleaner crew. Wow, that is the best find of the day so far. All right, let's go out into the tank. That's species number two. That thing is sick. Look how pretty that thing is. Where was he? Up in the rocks? He's in the freaking pool. That is the, big, the prettiest fish we've ever caught here. Look at the freaking rainbow on him, on his face there. The lime green. Look at them teeth. Look at those. Yeah. That's sick. She's I got screaming. the GoPro set up in the aquarium. You ready for this underwater shot, baby? Welcome to your temporary home, buddy. Enjoy. I got some I got some snails! Just in case we go algae! Alright, now the trick is you gotta look inside these little pockets of water where there's not a lot of movement. So it's kind of just stagnant where the fish are definitely trapped in there. So like that's a good one. I don't see anything in that one, but that's a good one right there. Now if you look shallow, because like I mentioned in other videos, a lot of a lot of stuff like right here, a lot of water. Yeah. See, see this water movement? See this water movement right here? That's flowing into this little tide pool right here. And what do we have here? A very fast. Look at this dude. This is perfect. Zoomy. He blends right in. He blends right into the rock. See his color is like green. He's Look so at this. Cute. That is the cutest hey. thing I've ever seen. He's What's going... your name? Oh my God! Look how cute he is. That is a classic puffer fish. He's got little mini spikes on his little belly. <laughs> He's adorable. That is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Let's get him in the aquarium. Call fast. me, Blazer. Dude, he's like translucent. Look at you can kind of see through him. That's how puffed up he's. Okay, buddy. I know you're probably gonna float for a second. Wait. <laughs> that is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh, I love on. him. Now, guys, there is just a ton of big snook out here today, all along the rock. Most I've seen in a while, guys. Now, the big reason to hang around here, like I said, the tide pool holds a lot of smaller fish. The reason why they get washed into the rocks and all the fish go into little tide pools and we can catch them is because there's a ton of little fish around here because of all the structure. So little fish equals big fish because the big fish eat the little fish. So ton of snook here today. We're gonna try to catch a couple for you guys. Hopefully we can get something big for you, something epic. I'm gonna keep looking around the rock because you never know what's gonna swim by. Let's see what else we can find. Quick work, right here, another shrimp, another freaking shrimp right here hiding along the rocks baby come here little guy come on we found your friend he's back in the other aquarium check that guy out another freaking shrimp hiding in the tide pool pockets you guys coming up here very soon since it's we're coming to the mid of january is going to be the shrimp run you have guys seen us fish the pilchard run you've seen us fish fish the mullet run but you've never seen us fish the shrimp run we're going to see so many of these guys flooding down the beach flooding into the intercoastal it's crazy the fish go crazy and there's just you literally shine a flashlight in the water and all you see is two eyeballs lighting up but there's millions of them absolutely millions of them this is a good sign we're starting to see some shrimp that means they're gonna start running soon let's get this guy in the tank all right buddy get in here I got your buddy in here I'm sure you're looking for him yes. where's your buddy there he is <laughs> welcome everybody enjoy your time guy probably thinks I have maybe half a brain cell in my head. Sick shark, is he in the surf? Yeah, he's so close. Oh, cute. oh what the frick? He's like literally in one foot of water. He just rolled on his side. He would he literally just rolled on his side because he's so shallow and the he was in the sand, like literally on his side. This is the shallowest I've seen one of these black tip sharks. And because it's January, we're gonna start seeing a ton of sharks come down the beach. I can't remember the last time we came here and we haven't seen a shark. I mean the black tips and the big sharks. We saw a hammerhead last time. The sharks are just everywhere around here. This guy's actually like a thousand feet down the beach. So hopefully he swims by this way. 
and we brought one of those big poppers to see if we can catch him because he is extremely, extremely shallow. He's literally in the sand. So let's see if he swims by down this way. Guys, we may get lucky here. I found another black tip. I saw a big barracuda. I saw a giant nurse shark. And now I saw another black tip right along the rock here. Oh, and Jack just scared him. Jack, you threw your popper right on his head. So I'm telling Jack to throw the popper past me. Black tips are notorious for eating anything that swims in their face. So he just got scared. So I doubt he'll eat again or he'll try. But we're going to see if he throws past him, he could get the shark's attention. He's not interested. See Jack, Jack's right there on the rock. He's popping along for him. That shark was just not interested. Damn it. See, last time he caught the black tip was on live bait. The poppers are hit or miss, but the live bait always gets smoked. So hopefully we can catch something bigger, toss it off for a big shark. Uh, I'm still not over how cute this buffer is. Are you serious right now? I love you. No, 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 no. I love you. Shout out to Stu Finer. He's gonna try to bite my finger. He's gonna try to bite my finger. Our aquarium is completed. The tide pool's filling up a lot now, so it's hard to find the fish. She's underwater. But we caught two shrimp, a big wrasse, which you never find a big wrasse and the cutest, and puffer, the cutest ever. puffer ever in the history of the world. Let's release this, these guys. Let's release the wrasse right now. He's our biggest fish, so let's release him first. Ah, ah, so ah. dramatic. Come here, Ron. Come here, Ron. Ron. We're naming everything Ron. Ron the wrasse. Ron the wrasse. Look at that face. Big hug. Big kiss. kiss. I love you. I love, I love you. I love you. Ron. Okay, right. we gotta put him back. Let's put, let's release Ron to his natural habitat. Bye, Ron. You Be have free, a nice Ron. day, buddy. You saved your life. Bye, Ron. Tell me, Mom, I say hi. Saw a lot of sharks today. Saw some big fish, big snook. Couldn't capitalize because it's cold now. So all the bait fish are leaving the area. But as it warms up in the next couple months, the bait fish will be back. And the fish get hungry, baby. And the fish get hungry. So. Stay tuned for some big fish catching. Awesome Tide Pool Aquarium today, we kicked ass. Oh yeah. If you guys wanna see more, drop a like on this video. Fish guys out, see you in the next one. Later.